that rating was scary for SmackDown. I mean, yeah. like, I, I don't really like, you know, ratings are ratings right now. They really don't mean anything. But this show was like, promo the thing with this show is it was promoted really heavily. Now, it did go against the NFL draft. Um, I don't know how much that meant, but I mean, they promoted this show hard around that Triple H thing. And they had Triple H, they had Vince on, they had Sean on. And they did the worst rating they've done on Fox and the worst demo rating that they've done. For to be fair, I don't think they advertised Sean or Vince there. No, but they were there. They were there in the last 10, 15 minutes of the show. So, Right. But they uh, my, lost my point it, is I don't think either of them would have made any difference whatsoever. I mean, if you would advertise them, they would have, but... No, 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 no. I, I know they wouldn't have made difference at the start of the show, but they still were pushing the Triple H thing really hard. For not just not just this week. They've been pushing that for three weeks. Um, the Triple and, H thing, absolutely. I'm just pointing out that nobody no, 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 knew no, no, no. who the, was, the value was of Vince, going to be there. The value of Vince, yes, but also when they were out there, it, it you know, again, I don't have the quarters, but it wasn't enough to even raise hour number two. Hour number two was under two million viewers, which they've never done for an hour on Fox. They never even come close to doing a number like that on Fox that low. So, I mean, even them being there, you know, I mean, a lot of times people are on the show that aren't advertised uh, and they're big stars and the numbers, you know, will jack up really fast. And this didn't at all. So, I mean, maybe it did. Maybe it did to a degree, but not enough to even, you know, make the hour. The Sean thing better. I can see, but Vince was there for like two minutes at the end of the show. It felt like two hours, but he was there like for a very short period of time. And it was very depressing. It was very depressing. It was it was an attempt at comedy. And here's the thing. And they, there was a lot of attempts at comedy on the show. The problem, even like in the New Day segment, when the, in the opener, when they were doing a lot of their normal stuff and they kind of making fun of stuff, comedy really doesn't work well in wrestling without, a, without an audience. I mean, it's so... Because they're really not good comedians. It only works when the audience sort of reacts to it. And um, boy, in that last segment, I mean, they tried. They tried. They tried to be funny. And maybe some people thought they were, but if you're just watching it, it's kind of like, ugh. I enjoyed Hunter and Sean alone. When Vince came out, I was like, oh, my Lord. I, I, I mean, Everything that... about Vince, whatever Vince was trying to do for comedy, I, I don't even know what he was talking about half the time. I, I didn't even get the Sean thing. I thought the Sean thing, I mean, it was, so, some of Sean's stuff was funny with Stephanie. I mean, that was pretty good. But um, when, you know, once they were with Road Dog, it was, that was pretty flat. And a lot of it was, you know, I mean, the, the stuff with Sean and Hunter, what was, it was, it was okay, but they were out there way, way too long. And then they, kept going with you know rick which was just kind of like i mean it was quick and it was over the stephanie thing i i kind of thought that was kind of cute um and then uh the road dog thing which was a waste of time and then you know the vince thing which was yeah i mean it's you know for decades vince was always i'm never going to go back on television i'm too old i'm never going to go back i'm too old and um now he's forgotten he always he always comes back and um He's old. I mean, what are you going to do? You know, I mean, it happens. Everybody gets old. Uh, but it was, it, he wasn't that good. Um, Everybody just, gets old, but he is in charge of the company. And I see him out there, and I just think, that guy is in charge of all of this. I know. Look, we see it every single week. But if he wasn't there, that stock price would drop because they've got people bamboozled that this guy's the only one, this guy's this legend, and he's the only one who well, knows how to run legend. wrestling in the in the whole he's the only one who knows how to run wrestling in the whole world. And if something happens to him, the whole business will go down because they've convinced people that he's this, you know, genius that that um took this thing that was never popular and made it popular and god damn, you know. Well, even with all their advantages, it's like, you know, the, the, the all the people they're trying to stomp out, you know, were, were getting more and more popular, it, you know, until the, you know, I mean, it wasn't going to be a long-term thing because the, uh, well, I mean, maybe it would, maybe it would. I mean, there's so many economic advantages that he has going in. I mean, they're just huge. Um, nobody should have been able to get that foothold in and, and, you know, New Japan did to a degree and, you know. The indies were stronger than they've been in decades, and uh, but that wasn't going to last. A the AEW thing was a fluke. Nobody, you know, nobody could prepare for that one. Uh, it was a series of it was a series of flukes that all happened at the same time. I mean, Ring of Honor 
had the chance to do the same thing with Sinclair's backing, but um, they either they just they didn't want to make the commitment, and it didn't happen.